Why, hello everybody, it is Kyle for Unboxed Autos, and before me today, I'm so excited because we have something super special, as you can probably tell just by looking at it, and that is the 2023 Maserati MC20. Now, this is the coupe version. There's also going to be a full electric version as well as the convertible, but right here we just have this stunningly gorgeous coupe, and it is so special to me. This is what I get excited about. This is why I love cars. Uh, under the hood, we have a of course, made in Italy, V6 twin turbocharged engines, a three liter, it's the most power dense engine in any supercar right now. It's absolutely an incredible machine. It makes 631 horsepower at 7,500 RPMs and 538 pound feet of torque from 3,000 RPMs, giving it a zero to 60 time of around 2.9 seconds, but it's been tested faster than that before, as well as onto a top speed of a mind boggling 202 miles per hour. That is absolutely crazy, you guys. I mean, this car not only looks incredible, but it has the power and the engine and the handling capabilities to back it up. The engine really has been derived from F1 technology. This is truly a race car. It also has so much. Uh, lightweight materials on the interior. We're talking about carbon fiber body panels, carbon fiber body composites to make this car as light as possible. So it's perfect for the racetrack and getting you from zero to 60 and onto, you know, 100 plus miles per hour as quickly as possible. Now, let's talk for a minute here a little bit about styling. Up front, we have this beautiful carbon fiber lower front splitter right here. What I really like about this car though too is that it is understated. It's a very elegant supercar. It's not super in your face. It's not trying to really show off. It's just very elegant in the way it presents itself with all its beautiful body lines and curves. It's extremely elegant. Right here we have the tr uh, trio of LED daytime running lights up front right here. We also have the hood scoops of here as well for aerodynamic purposes. Now this car was really designed uh, pretty much 90% virtually. So when they were developing this car, air, and it was really developed inside the wind tunnel because, you know, when we're talking about race cars, downforce, things like that, aerodynamics become extremely important. And that's what they went ahead and did when they developed this car from the ground up with new technology that we have available to us today in the design labs, that they could make it, you know, as aerodynamic as possible, resulting, of course, in faster track times. But yeah, it's just, you know, beautiful splitter right here large air intake, Trident logo right here. The Maserati brothers would be proud of this car. This is just stunning. You know, today we have a lot of SUVs, crossovers, which is fine, but not everyone, of course, can, you know, afford one of these. Or unfortunately, you know, sometimes people just don't get excited about cars like they used to. But I guarantee you, if you take somebody who's not the end of cars, you put them inside of this car, they will get excited and they will love cars again. So this is really about loving cars. Once again, nice headlight right here, LED, nice daytime running lights. Around to the side here though, what I really like are these wheels. They have a really nifty design to them right here. We also have a carbon ceramic disc brakes. This is a $10,000 option. If you're going to hit the track lot, I would suggest getting these because you know, you're talking about low fade, longevity. So this is really what you want if you're going to take this kind of track. And I hope if you do buy one of these and you own one of these, you do take it to the track where it's meant to live and breathe freely on the track. MC20, nicely stated right here. Side blinker, once again, carbon fiber door panels, beautiful lines. Uh, fun to note, we have one singular windshield wiper up here. Not a very big windshield, so we only need one windshield wiper. My favorite part in terms of styling, scissor doors. Who doesn't love scissor doors? Everybody does. Everybody loves scissor doors. Super cool. Definitely making a big entrance when you open these guys up. Uh, and this is where you can really see right here, you can see the carbon fiber body right here. So this is, you know, we're talking about this super lightweight materials. The whole entire door is made out of this composite carbon fiber. We also have, you know, no lack of luxury. Everything inside is leather stitched right here, a nice yellow stitching accent you can see there on the door panel. But in terms of the rest of the exterior, beautiful Trident logo placed nicely right here. This is where we actually fill up the car. We also have right here, uh, downforce, right? So the air intake vent into the engine. So we keep the engine nice and cool when we're running around the track. Around the back, a pretty simple, nice curvature here. Very stately, I do like it quite a bit. And then we also have right here, center, oh, lower center mounted dual exhaust. Pretty neat, beautiful entire carbon fiber rear splitter here. So as you can see, once again, we have these different panels right here to aid with airflow as the 
wind or air as you're flowing comes up and it captures it right here to help the downforce keep this rear of the car planted. It is a rear wheel drive car. So when we're talking about really getting out of the track, pushing it to its max, you of course want a lot of downforce over the rear wheels. And of course it being a mid engine arrangement as well, we do get the nice weight balance of course over the rear wheels. The suspension is of course top of the line made for racing. We'll get more into that later in, inside when we're driving the vehicle. But yeah guys, overall just what a beautiful car. And we're about to go ahead now, jump inside, take it for a test drive and check it out on the road. Once you open up this super cool scissor doors to make your entrance into the beautifully sleek Maserati MC20, you'll be greeted by this absolutely phenomenal steering wheel, which I love very much. It's definitely my favorite part of the interior. The top is done in a beautiful carbon fiber, and it also, of course, has a flat bottom, also done in carbon fiber. And then the side profile of the steering wheel is done in an Alcantara material. Very, very nice. Definitely love it a lot. Um, you also start the vehicle from the steering wheel as well. There's also the launch control button there. Otherwise, it's a pretty simple wheel. There's a cruise control settings, uh, radio controls, uh, and the volume level there for that, as well as the voice and phone. So pretty simple. Right here, we also have column-mounted paddle shifters. They are also done in a carbon fiber. Really cool. Uh, in terms of the rest of the interior, we have a lot of, again, carbon fiber material. I really like that. I like how they've incorporated it. I think it looks really nice, especially here in the center, uh, center console area. We also have our different drive mode configurations. So we have the GT, which would be like a Touring, Sport, and Corsa. So depending on what kind of driving uh, you want the car to deliver and what kind of uh, conditions you're in, you can choose the appropriate mode for that. There's also the adjustable suspension uh, in terms of stiffness. So there's the button there, center for that. Uh, drive and manual mode button right there, and then reverse button. Uh, neutral, you just simply put uh, both of the paddles into place there at the same time, click them both, goes into neutral, and then uh, when you're in drive, you can just turn off the car and it goes into park automatically. Uh, it is an eight speed, uh, automatic transmission, uh, but it's a, it's a uses uh, like a racing dual clutch technology, so it's a little bit different. Here at our center console area for our driver's display, there is a, it's a digital display. There are three different views depending on your GT Sport or Corsa mode, so you can see there the variance of style there on the drive mode selection. Uh, at the top of this area is done in the carbon fiber, uh, a little bit of Alcantara around the air vents as well. And then moving over to the side, we have this nice leather dashboard, all leather with some cool yellow stitching. Then MC20 with the colors of the Italian flag there on the passenger side looks pretty neat. Oh, but yeah, guys, the seats are also super comfortable. Great racing seats, very nice and comfortable. They're done in uh, like a suede Alcantara type material as well. Very, very nice. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start it up now and take it for a spin since that's really what this car is all about. It's about driving it, feeling it. And I absolutely love that. Uh, in terms of the media system, real quick, it supports wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is absolutely fantastic. We don't actually find that all that often in supercars yet, just yet. So I really like that they went ahead and added that in here. So it makes you know, the media system absolutely fantastic for everyday usability. Uh, but yeah, so now we'll go ahead and going to drive it is unfortunately a rainy day today guys so you really don't get to feel too much of the, the car in terms of the you know the, the power and how it really should be driven but will still give us a taste of it now when you pull out into the road in this car it is is a true eye catcher. I mean, everybody looks at this car. Everyone wants to talk to you when you're driving this car, more so than any other supercar I've ever driven, whether it be Ferrari, Lamborghini. So this car just really is such an eye catcher. I think it is extremely elegant and everybody just really enjoys it. So that's something that's you know unique to the MC20, is just the styling profile is so, so cool. Now, once you get on the road, it's obviously a master of the road. I mean, this car, especially with its dual wishbone suspension setup, it is how it handles the road. It is absolutely 
bonkers. It is just how it grips the road and stays so stable through, you know, tight turns and corners. It's just absolutely incredible. And ah, guys, I mean, this is really their such a great halo car for Maserati. I mean, it's made in Modena, Italy. The engine's Italian. You know, everything about this car is what the Maserati brand has always been about. And honestly, it really is so much fun to, to be seen and, and drive this car because this is like the car when you're a child, if you're into cars or a kid, you put this car on your wall in a poster's format. So like you get a poster of this car, you put it on your wall. Like that's what I aspire to have one day. So that's just what makes this car so, so cool. And you know, it's a really unique car too. It is, you know, it's not a Ferrari, it's not a Lamborghini. And that's, I like that, it's different, you know, it's different. And it's nice to have a few more choices in that segment now. Now in terms of, you know, the engine again, it is a three liter twin turbocharged V6 with, you know, again, the 631 horsepower, which is just absolutely crazy. This is the most power dense engine right now of any of any uh, car right now that's a production car. It's absolutely incredible. The power that they were able to get out of this three liter, it's absolutely nuts. Zero to 60, around 2.8. 2.7 uh, rear wheel drive so and again it's wet out today so we won't really be able to experience a lot because you know all the traction goes to the rear wheels we really need nice dry conditions to really you know feel the car and tires are cold as well so um, that but yeah guys I mean just every day driving this car has been special and uh, it's just absolutely a beautiful machine. Now, the transmission is just absolutely phenomenal. Go ahead, put it into manual shifting mode, turn it into sport mode, put it in soft dampeners. We'll get out there a little bit. <laughs> you instantly, you hear the, the turbo spool right in your ear because the engine's obviously right behind us. Instant shifting from the dual clutch. Absolutely amazing. This is so much fun. So much fun. I can just see going on a racetrack in this car and just having an absolute blast. It's so stable, so quick to respond. It's just really embodies the supercar spirit and looks the part too. It really does. It's absolutely a riot. It's so much fun to drive. And, you know, guys, in terms of, you know, which supercar would I suggest in this segment? I mean, it's so hard because they're all so special. So I have a really hard time picking one because, you know, this one looks amazing, right? Uh, and the Lamborghini has just that intoxicating exhaust note. The Ferrari is such a legendary, you know, car with such great history. You know, I mean, all of the brands, of course, have their own unique history of course as well but you know they're just all so unique in their own regard and i think it's really just up to what you're looking for in terms of which one to get now i can tell you that if you're looking for something that's extremely special and you're going to get a lot of eyes and it just looks like a like a concept car became reality but with elegance then the MC20 is really going to be you know an absolute top choice I will say the exhaust note isn't you know it doesn't really pop it doesn't crackle like a Lamborghini or Ferrari it, it just has this you know sort of deep thrusting tone to it especially when you can hear the turbo charging so it doesn't really have that crazy exhaust note like some of the other supercars have which I would like to see it just have a little more growl gurgle to it um, but you know Again, it depends how much you like. If you're trying to be a little more under the radar, a little more sleek, then maybe you don't want it. Maybe you don't want that. But yeah, guys, overall, what a just what a fantastic ride. 
between the 2023 Maserati MC20. It's such a beautiful car. And it's, it's just a, a piece of art on wheels, and it's just so fun to drive. It has the power to back it up, a unique engine, and uh, yeah, it's just it's been an absolute pleasure to drive this car.